I've just clicked run on the auto topology script and here the packets are reporting back and as they do I can find it's discovering additional nodes on the network I'll wait for a couple more packets to come in each packet is a pairwise connection between one node and another node so I'll run it again uh, so here it's expanding the grid it's discovered a loop uh, in the corner here which is reflected here because I have two loops one here one here so I'm hoping it'll discover that one I have two danglers here and I have a dangler over there so now a couple more packets have come in and we'll see if we can discover the edge so this is still one loop but there's there's no connection yet uh, around the grid it's still uh, still recovering packets this is happening in real time so I'll scroll down let a couple more packets come in there are a couple of delays here just to make sure I get all of the packets I'll run this one again and now we've completed the loop so the packets came in and now it can represent the full set of grids at least one of these will be a uh, a miniature loop right here so it ought to have a couple of these loops and there we are so now the topology structure is completely represented this little loop here is the little quad quadrangle here and then this loop here is this one the reason I know it's that is because this is node 1 node 1 is the red terminal board and then circle 2 is this one and the reason I know that one is because that has a, a single dangler off the end which is represented right here now the script isn't perfect to display the network but if I refresh it some of the nodes I've gotten more data about the nodes each node is bi-directional and here it's completely uh, explored because each node has been a uh, has recognized that it's connected to one and each node is connected to the other so we have two-way arrows on each which means the topology is complete and uh, the IXNs have auto-discovered uh, the topology of the grid